This recording is to show you how to do a competitive analysis. Assume that you have already identified all the keywords that are relevant to your business. We're going to assume that you want to build a lead generation business where you can advertise on Facebook and generate leads to a third party. But at the same time, we're also going to create some content on your website and collect email addresses. I created a simple spreadsheet. So how do we do competitive analysis? It's really the first thing we need to identify who the competitors are. This is competitor. So let's go here. Website, I remember it's 42K, organic search. So basically what percentage of the traffic comes from organic search? What percentage comes from pay search, etc.? We need to get that information through other tools. So there's Simraj, there's also SpyFu. There are paid plans, you can get more information, but I think we might be able to find enough information uh, without paying. It seems like they have zero paid search. 3.6K monthly traffic. Let's take a look at SpyFu. 99% of their traffic comes from organic search uh, on Google. They have a lot of great content. Let's see if there's any information we can find. Competition. That's why I don't like tools, because those two are really not this website's competitors. So they're not really accurate. Okay, see, they also give you a lot of relevant keywords here. They're also listing Google AdWords ads in here. But again, it seems like they are not getting much traffic. They only paid out 55 keywords. Total monthly PPC clicks only 500, so that's just like, that's like nothing. All right, so here, look what we can do. Organic search 99%. Pay search 1%. For social, then you can use similar web to check out their social traffic. When you enter your competitor's website in similar web, they're gonna give you all the traffic sources. As you can see here, still search is majority of the traffic. There's 2% for referral, almost 5% for direct, and social is only 0.12%. This search combines Pay search and organic search. 93% organic search and pretty much 0% pay search. Social is pretty much minimum, almost at 0.12%. And of course, they don't add up as 1%, so maybe I'll change this to 93%. And others is the rest. We don't have to worry about it. The next one, as you can see here, is the number of pages. This is especially important for websites whose most significant traffic source is organic search. You need to see what kind of content they're producing. So I'm going to go back to here. They did have a lot of information. So you could go crazy when you just click around, you would be lost and try to find out how many pages they have. So there's a one trick that we can do. Just enter the website name and sitemap. Okay, so now we find the website sitemap. Actually, this is not very helpful. Let's see, robots.txt. Huh, interesting. So why they have so many payday loan thing? Maybe this was something they were doing before this. There's something else we can do. Many times you should be able to find the complete sitemap of our website by searching this. But in this case, they actually manually made this sitemap, so it's not really accurate. Because a lot of smart webmasters they would create a sitemap using Google sitemap tool. So they will automatically generate a sitemap for your whole website. It would be more accurate. So in this case, we would have to use some tools. This is called an SEO chat. They have a tool for you to check how many pages of a website have been indexed by different search engines. So what you need to do is just enter a CAPTCHA code here and enter domain name. And I found out that there are 488 pages. So if you click on this, and I believe that most of them are probably great content. As you can see, they also have a blog, number of web pages. But here, I'm just going to enter 488. Number of blog posts, I believe that it's probably very close to 488. Next, for example, blog post titles. I'm going to go to home page. I'm going to look at the most visited areas. Probably first would be residential buildings, I would assume. Okay, I think that can give you some idea about the content they have. Email list. Do they have an email list? Here it should be a simple yes or no answer. Demographics. Why is this helpful? 
because most likely we're going to run PPC ads or in or Facebook ads. This is going to be the research that can help us to better target the right customer segments. So I recommend you use Alexa, copy over the domain name, and do a quick search. If you scroll down to the bottom, as you can see, they give you a lot of information. It's mostly mail. The middle part is the internet average. There's a generally more interest among men than women on this website. College, some college, browse location. I never found that useful, so I'm not going to document that. In my experience, at least. So as you can see, it's mostly from 45 to 54. Kind of makes sense. Average for 18 to 24, I guess they're just average. It's not particularly more or less. So I don't think that's significant. The next one is income. First would be 100k plus. The second one would be 30k to 6k. I found that interesting. Uh, why not 6k to 100k? Ethnicity is dominantly white. I believe that with Facebook advertising, you can target ethnicity and race as well. So I'm going to write this down and go back here and paste it here. That's all we need to do. Number of Facebook fans. This is just to see if they're doing anything significant on Facebook. But earlier, we saw that there's pretty much zero social traffic. In this case, the researcher does not need to bother to find the information. So I'm just saying not available. Other notes. So as you were doing all the research, you may find something that's interesting. Maybe like, for example, BBB accredited. Oh, XML. That's exactly what I was looking for. I don't know why it did not come up on Google when I searched for it. So actually, they only have 200 pages. You can actually see last modification date. So they have been adding content, seems like only every, every five or six months. November, they added five articles. June, they added five articles. And a bunch of articles in January 16. Wow. You can get a lot of information by looking at the sign up. What kind of blog posts they have, what kind of keywords they're targeting. Okay, we need to modify this to 201. I will also enter the link to the sitemap here. I can add a new column here, sitemap. Next one, I think this might be a competitor. The traffic rank is 53k, wow. Not that far behind buildingsky.com. Seems like this website just came out of nowhere. Let me see. Creation date just a little bit over two years ago through good content plus great design and won over many users search 65 percent a lot of them are direct okay search right of data we might have to use simrush and spyfu simrush doesn't really give you too much information when it comes to traffic sources like the percentages seems like pay search is zero uh, let's see spyfu really the same thing Referral, but we don't know where the referrals come from. Social is zero percent. Mail is 0.15 percent. That probably means they have an email list. I'm going to say, you know, probably 99 percent. Social, zero percent. Mail, 0.15. The number of web pages will do the same. Find out if they have a sitemap anywhere. Sometimes you okay. I'm just gonna. Search for site map here. Okay, now I'm gonna try not have any. Let's try this. Still doesn't have it. Sometimes we may have to just search for it manually. Go to home page. See if there's another way to do this. So you can see how many categories they have. First category. I will see how many articles they have. Six nine articles for designs let's do kids let's count those do the same thing go to the next one go to the next one number of blog posts probably very close to the number of web pages because it seems like that's all they have they only have blog posts sample of blog posts same thing i would go through maybe each category and just pick one blog post also but you can have an idea about the content on the blog post on the website Sitemap link, seems like we can't find any. Email list. Do they have an email list? Click here for a free estimate. I think that's pretty good. But maybe we'll submit a quote. They will email you 
we can only find out by submitting a quote here. So definitely we should do that. One thing is for sure they have beautiful photos. I don't know where they got their photos. Maybe do some spying to find out. Oh, by the way, sorry, forgot. For other notes, a few things that I noticed. Beautiful photos, beautiful design. Unlike many other websites we have seen so far, you know, it looks like it was from last century. Even some of the manufacturer websites, each category they have these different icons, little things like that really matter a lot. They also have most shared. For each blog post, people can easily tweet it or pin it. That's all for this video. Hopefully this is going to be helpful. Thank you so much.